Our little publication has grown over the years, and we've decided that it's time to explore into new frontiers, the kitchen. I don't think anyone on the team is a very good cook, however, so we'll stick to what we know best, the almighty video game. This is where Chef Life, a restaurant simulator, comes into play. Developed by Cyanide Studio and published by Nacon, this game promises to lead you through the upbringings of a local eatery for the neighborhood to become a Michelin-starred restaurant, yes, the tire company. And for what it's worth, the game does a fine job of not only offering a unique restaurant experience you can have, virtually, but can be a cathartic or sweaty experience, depending on how you like to play the game. Let's dive into the world of cutlery. In Chef Life, players start off by creating their own chef prior to walking into their new restaurant. This character creator is fairly limited, so don't go in expecting too much. But I imagine you're just here to cook, and so the game is happy to let you do that. Diving into not just the foodstuff creation process, but customizing your establishment, managing stock and employee welfare, keeping your customers happy, your ecological footprint in check, and all that busy work. It starts off small, but quickly grows as you pick up on more recipes, get more staff, and expand your restaurant. Starting off with the cooking gameplay, it's as easy as following prompts on the screen to complete actions such as tossing a salad, eating an egg, cutting up other ingredients, and so on and so forth. Things get more complicated as you progress through the instructions of a recipe, but at a frying step, for example, you may need to insert particular ingredients at specific phases of the dish being cooked or flip it to make sure sides remain even. Seasoning is a must for some dishes, and sometimes customers may ask that their meats be cooked for longer. It's easy to forget that you're running a restaurant, of course, so you'll need to balance out your focus between multiple dishes to make sure they get sent out on time. Not to mention, some steps to a recipe are time sensitive. You'll need to make sure that you're combining all the required ingredients within a good time frame so that you don't send out cold food. Shy people, don't worry, your customers here will be far nicer than any other service related work. This did sound daunting to me at first, but it really isn't too bad. For starters, you'll have plenty of time to make for preparations. One aspect of running your own establishment is that you get to decide on the menu and cut up foodstuffs ahead of time. From the start of the day all the way till you open shop, there's plenty of time to check out requests from regulars to directing staff to prepare meals. The game starts off fairly slow in this regard and opens up over time, which gives me a lot of comfort as I was concerned that my inability to cook in real life would find its way into the game. The foods you get to cook do look very tasty, however, stuff you'll see from Michelin restaurants all over the world. And you can change the plating of a dish to your liking, provided you can muck about with how food plops onto the dish. Plus, there are accessibility options you can turn on, such as fewer customers coming in, no fail dishes, and even turning off the time limit on when orders should be fulfilled. It's a very handy set of options, and I had some of them on for quite a while until I found myself comfortable with managing operations. There are a lot of specific settings you can enable too, such as making your restaurant vegetarian only. Speaking of operations, that's the other half of the game that you'll need to pay attention to. You'll need to buy ingredients and stock up when there are good sales. You'll need to watch where you source your foods from, as that could impact your eco-responsibility standing, which in turn impacts your coworkers' ability to work. I didn't quite understand this one very much. Menu management includes learning new recipes and upgrading the ones you already know which will attract more customers and, in turn, more revenue. Equipment doesn't come cheap, you know, and there's a lot of tools you'll need to buy or even double up on, so your kitchen is working at full capacity. Now, I do have to say that I'm not a fan of the user interface very much. It's a bit cumbersome to navigate, especially when you're working on a timer. You might take out more ingredients than you want to in the heat of the moment, and sometimes notifications may not be as helpful as they should be, especially when multiple overlap. Another issue I have with the game is that it has a very tight policy of only letting prepped ingredients move into the restaurant's opening if they're in a fridge. You'll get much more storage later on, but it doesn't make much sense why some prepped foods, like soups on a tray, sitting out on the counter ready to be served will just up and vanish once it's time to open. This also includes ingredients sitting in your inventory as well, 
And sometimes you'll forget to put something away, making serving time just a little harder. On a smaller note, I did run into a bug related to this, where one of my blending stations became unusable because I had left pesto on it prior to opening the shop. Thankfully, restarting the game will load you prior to opening hours, but it is a nuisance nonetheless. Chef Life, a restaurant simulator, is the best kind of laid-back experience you could ask for. Being able to cook meals at your own pace, as well as making the restaurant your own space, feels cathartic, and you could spend hours unlocking and upgrading meals. Not to mention how you decorate your restaurant to appeal to certain crowds, building your own wardrobe, etc. A Michelin star-worthy game. <laughs>